Hello student, in this class we will learn about the characteristics of particles of matter here. See, very first thing try to understand one basic concept here, whatever is around us is made from the matter as we have already aware about this fact. So thing is that whatever the matter is in front of you, whatever the material you are wearing, you are facing, you are using, you are observing, you are experiencing. What it is all made from the matter only or inside that matter you will find two kind of very small particles that are either atoms or the molecules. So thing is that if I am talking about matter, so first of all try to understand what is the real meaning of the matter here. Then after that I will talk about the different characteristic properties of the matter here. So how can I define the matter here? So first of all, anything which has mass, very important, which has mass and occupy the space is called the matter here. Fine, mass and occupy space that is called matter. So let's say for example, if I am having pen with me, so pen is having some mass, yes, and it is going to occupy some space if I am going to keep it on a table or somewhere else, yes. This is going to occupy some space. So my dear student, this is all my matter only. So even the human beings are also the matter. Why? Because they have some mass, we have some weight and we are going to occupy some space. For example, if I am standing on the floor, so definitely I am going to occupy some space. So here is all about the matter here. So inside that matter, what you will find? You will find the atoms and the molecules. So now my dear student, what is very important here? So after looking for the matter and all this thing, now talk about the characteristics of properties of the matter here. So very first characteristic property is that the particles of matter are very, very small. This is very important. The particles of every matter, see so particles of matter are very, very small. Second property, the particles of matter have space between them. Okay, so we are going to look this in some great detail also. The particles of matter are constantly moving. Okay, it means they have movement inside it. Fine. And the final one is the particles of matter attract each other. The particles of matter attract each other. So there are four major characteristics of a particles of matter here. Very small. They have space between them, they are constantly moving and they attract each other. So now try to understand these things one by one here with few experiment and with few understanding also. So very first thing what will I do here, particularly I will take potassium per magnet here and I will take only 2 to 3 crystals of it and I am going to dissolve it in 100 ml of water in a beaker. Fine. I need to dissolve it so nicely with the glass rod and after dissolving then I will take the 10 ml of it this. Fine and dissolve in another 100 ml of the water. Then again I will take the 10 ml of this and again I am going to dissolve in the 100 ml of water. Repeat this procedure 5 to 6 times. Now the thing is that what is the ultimate aim of my this experiment or this activity. This activity is showing me that that the few crystals of the potassium per magnet can color a large volume of water because there are millions of tiny particles in each crystal. So we have taken only two to three crystals here only two to three crystal but that two to three crystal is enough to colorize my 100 ml of water. So this is clearly showing me that each crystal is having millions of tiny particles in each. So matter is made from very small, very minute particles. So this activity is C. This is the graphical representation of my activity here. That few crystals of potassium per magnet can color a large volume of water because there is a millions of, there is a millions of tiny particles in each crystal. So here is the summary of my activity. This is my 100 ml water. Simply I am adding some 
potassium permanganate here then 10 10 ml i am taking it i am simply pouring it in some another 100 ml up to the 5 to 6 time maybe the 4 to 5 times here so thing is that see coloration is still there still coloration is there it means that my small crystals of potassium permanganate have millions of very small small particles now we have seen about this now particles of matter have space between them yes how can I prove this? Let's try to do one activity here. First of all, what I will do here, let's say this is my glass beaker and this glass beaker, I have 100 ml of water. <clears throat> now, what will I do here? I am trying to dissolve the 50 gram sugar here. 100 ml of water I have, I am going to dissolve 50 gram sugar here. Now, after dissolving or during this process, I am going to use one glass rod here. I am going to mix it so nicely, so very. Thing is that stirring is I am going to do here. Sugar getting completely dissolved here. Sugar is getting dissolved completely here. So basically, finally, I will find the sugar solution here. Now the thing is that how it is possible because water molecules have space in between them. Water molecules, they have space in between them. And this sugar is going to take place those spaces. So because of that only you will find that sugar is completely dissolved in water. So this activity is clearly indicating or showing you that that matter have spaces between them. So here we have seen with simple example. You can take any other example here. You can take here water plus salt here. The salt is going to dissolve completely in water as sugar can dissolve here. So next is the particles of matter have spaces between them. So basically this is the actual drying here. See this is my water molecules here blue color. And this what is the red color? Red colors are my actually sugar molecules. So how these sugar molecules are taking space between the water molecule here. So this is clearly indicating this matter have space between them. The particles of matter has constantly moving. Crystals of potassium permanganate in water. See you do one thing you take a concentrated solution of potassium permanganate. Simply just make try to add in a beaker where the which is filled with the water. See what is happening here. Can you look at this very carefully. This is a point of interaction where the drop of potassium KMnO4 is going to interact with the water surface here. See this is a point of attraction and from this point of attraction my KMnO4 is spreading. See now it is going to occupy my all the water content, all my water which is filled in the beaker. So this is very clear from this activity that matter are constantly moving, particles. What is my matter? Matter is my KMnO4. See that the particles of KMnO4 are moving. So that is the reason this is going to occupy all the space here means I am talking about the water which is filled in this beaker here. Now the particles of matter are constantly moving. So now it's very beautiful and very tasty example I have. Let's say I have a hot food in front of me. Let's say your mom is preparing a delicious food for you in kitchen. So you will get smell of it. Fine, you will get a smell of it. So thing is that what is that? The hot food is, is what is actually it's made from the matter only. So this particle will go because they are constantly moving and they will reach towards the your nostrils here. So then you will find the smell of that food. So this is also proving that particles of matter are constantly moving the particles of hot food is why moving so fast because their kinetic energy is much more than the cold food okay because if i am providing energy so definitely the kinetic energy will go high so it is going to travel fast also if i am going to compare with the cold food yes i think it is more than the is more than the cold food okay now what is the diffusion here? Diffusion is what actually see if my matter is going from high concentration to the low concentration that is called my diffusion here. See for example if I am putting some KMnO4 here this KMnO4 
the rest of the water is having the low concentration the place here i am going to add here it has the high concentration now this is diffusing in the low concentration so that is called my diffusion now the particles of matter attract each other so how can i talk about this particles of matter is going to attract each other so now these pieces of chalks are rigid and see thing is that the particles of matter are actually bound they have the attraction force also there they have force of attraction also so what you can see here this is my typical chalk stick that i am using during the classes so basically this piece of chalk are rigid and have a fixed shape because of the attraction between their particles here okay it has a rigid shape whenever you are looking for any solid so you may get an idea about that what is that there is a force of attraction between the particles of your matter that is the reason they have a very fixed shape they have a rigid shape they have a definite shape in them so student we have seen the characteristics of the particles here we have seen how it is varying from condition to condition here so thanks for watching